going on? This is the objective jerk. And I'm said jerk. What's up? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is well. Again, Trump's up in the polls. Harris is down. I heard that Trump is about to do the Joe Rogan podcast, or already did. And then um, Kamala Harris is also supposedly going to do it. I think... I think it's going to hurt Kamala even more. Every time she opens her mouth, she goes down in the polls. You think it would be the other way around, right? <laughs> no. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw this. I uh, Or Tesla has some some robots. Uh, you know, I mean, Japan and stuff has always been pretty, always doing like, you know, you see robots carrying stuff and walking up steps and various things. And now Tesla's. Rolled out some uh, some robots, and it's very iRobot kind of vibes. You know, I I think it's like it's it's impressive, and it's kind of cool. But at the same time, I'm just I'm a little old school. I don't I just don't think it's a good idea, really. I mean, I mean, it's it's gonna happen regardless. You know, man's always gonna try and do whatever. You know, I like Elon Musk, but man, sometimes I think he might be the downfall of of the human race. Um, you know, and it's not that I think, you know, these, you know, robots, they get produced and people are going to have them and, and it's going to become like the iRobot, you know, movie and story, the, the story that, um, dude, what's his face, man? What's his name? Philip? Did Philip, the guy that did 1984, no, that was Orson Welles, huh? Orson Welles, no, Orson Welles is a director. No, it's the same guy, 1984, and the the story, the Electric Sheep, the, you know, that Blade Runner was based off, and I Robot. That dude, I think he was a time traveler. He was, he came from the future, and he wrote stories on stuff that he knew about back in the 60s and 70s or something. I don't know, but um. Yeah, I don't think. I think they are gonna, they are gonna hurt the human race, but not like in the movies and stuff. You know, they're not just gonna become self or self self uh, aware. You know, and then and then attack all the human race because humans are ugly and this and that. I mean, it's possible, I guess, but I think it's more along the lines that these robots are gonna hurt us just like smartphones have hurt us you know what i mean and you, you might be like dude what smartphones how have they hurt us yes smartphones are freaking useful and and efficient and 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 um you know what's the word that i'm looking for a loss for words that's why i need to name my podcast a loss for words because dang man i can never but it, you know, it, it makes convenient. There we go. Convenience. Smartphones make life convenient. However, they're making us stupid though, you know, and I've said it before. It's just people don't know how to, they don't have to know anything. They can just get on their phone and find it out. Nobody has to be a movie buff or an expert in this, or, you know, you used to have people that were really into certain things and knew a lot of information. And, you know, your friends would ask, oh, man, Steve, he knows all this or, you know, whatever. They know this kind of stuff. And now it's like everybody knows everything, but they actually don't know anything. You know what I mean? And it's just brains are just not used like they used to be. Nobody has to really use their brain anymore. And it's showing, you know. It's like you look at videos of people at concerts or just going to the Grand Canyon or whatever, and everybody's just walking around with their damn phones. Just the other day, I took my wife to uh, a farm supply store to get some some meds for some goats. And I'm just sitting there and everybody, not I mean, they're not maybe on their phone, but they're walking around and carrying their phone. You know, everybody has their phone with them. It's 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 so the idea of them being like surgically connected, how they're talking about implants and stuff like that, dude, that's going to happen, too. But it's just 
it's just it's not good it isn't it's not good um i have a smartphone it's not actually connected to my phone like my cell so when i cell phone this is what i have so when i go out when i leave the house this is what i have this is this and then i do have an iphone but it's mainly just like my little personal computer and you know lay in bed watch something kind of whatever um just because i'm you know i'm more about enjoying the moment i'm not trying to take i'm I like to take pictures like with a camera and actually take some pictures, but not, I don't like to just take pictures of every little thing that happens. And I don't know. It's just, I'm just kind of old school that way, you know? And I was thinking about, um, some of the stuff that the things that, you know, we used to enjoy 20 years ago or before that you just, you, you cannot enjoy anymore. You know what I mean? things like blockbuster video you know renting going going to blockbuster you know on friday or maybe trying to go thursday go early because you know they would have the new the new movies and when there was a brand new movie that came out they would always be you know they'd all be rented out you know so you try and go early but you just go there go to the new release section oh sweet they got the new whatever you grab that um and then maybe grab a couple favorites and maybe even rent a game you know what I mean? Spend like $10, if that, and you just got like a whole night planned out of movies and shows and games and stuff, you know? Things like that. Like, it's just like, those were good times, man. And it just, that does not exist anymore, you know? And one of the other things that I was thinking about that's the same thing is like, is crank calling or prank calling, right? I watched... Uh, uh, I don't know if it was like TikTok or something, but it was it, it was a, a comedian. I have no idea who the guy is, but he talks about he gets a um, somebody calls him thinking he's someone else and starts talking like a business deal kind of thing. And he's like, "Ooh, I'm going to just get involved and pretend he's a person, you know. Um, and that's kind of how me and my friends, you know, used to do crank calling or prank calling. We call it prank calling. Um we, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we, so, you know, this was before, before caller ID, even before star 69, you know, um, you could just get on a phone and randomly dial a number and try and make something entertaining happen, you know? And, you know, we didn't do like, Hey, uh, hi, this is whatever from Sears is your refrigerator running yeah well you better go catch it <laughs> you know we didn't do crap like that it was like we tried to kind of do like what that comedian did we tried to um like I don't know just get involved like pretend okay so me and my friend used to do it all the time right um, we would call and just try and get them to think we're someone else and just get a conversation going. Like that was kind of like our goal. And, you know, most of the time it didn't work, but sometimes it would, but there was only one, um, one, uh, time that I remember, you know, and, um, again, this was before caller ID, nobody had caller ID. And then this was even before star 69, but I remember star 69 came out. And for those that don't know, Star 69 was somebody called you and you're like, what the hell was that? You could hang up, pick up the phone, Star 69, and it would call them. And you'd be like, yo, did you just call me? Who is this? You know what I mean? Um, but what you did, once Star 69 came out, you just dialed Star 67 before you dialed the number. So if you picked up the phone and dialed Star 67 and then dialed the phone number, they couldn't do the Star 69. <laughs> and uh it's crazy but um anyway so you know we would just get on the phone and we would just blah 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 blah, blah. any random number we wouldn't go through the phone book or nothing we would just make up a number get on the phone and see what happens so i remember doing this like right around i was like a young teenager and i hadn't completely like i was just at the beginning of my um becoming a man you know going through puberty <clears throat> so my voice was still kind of high and so I would sometimes be mistaken for a woman or whatever. And so I called 
one person one time call and the phone is ringing phone is ringing phone is ringing i was about to hang up and all of a sudden he picks it up hey what hello and i'm like hey what's going on and then either they'll be like yeah i'm all right who's this or they'll be like oh hey what's up you know like you sound like somebody so that's 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 the good ones when when your voice sounds like somebody they know and they just assume you're that person and then you proceed to have a conversation with that individual and the best ones were when they had no idea and this was one of them this i think this is why i remember this one but so the guy thinks i'm somebody it was a, a woman i remember i don't know like susan or something i don't know and so i'm like hey what's going on They're like hey nothing much what's how you doing They're like oh nothing and then i was like hey it took you a while to answer the phone he's like yeah i was outside doing some stuff doing this and that and blah 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 and he just kind of starts talking you know and with his wife and and then he's like so how's you know how's mark doing or whatever and i'm like oh you know it's fine it's good and just trying to let him talk as much as possible and so i had like you know five minute conversation maybe of just kind of that just a little bit of you know try not to give too much oh that's good and then if he'd ask a question about this and that just kind of you know and we had an entire conversation you know all right well we'll talk to you later okay bye and then that was it he had no idea it was a crank call and and what the 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 thrill of it was like man he's gonna talk to that person and be like dude hey and they're like what i didn't talk to you you know if that ever happened but that was what was the fun part of it you know yeah you had times where you're like oh you know you'd be a jerk a little punk teenager and say some stuff and laugh and giggle but um but you know it's just that's just it doesn't that doesn't happen anymore you know and this you know this has been since the beginning of time you know what just like you know in biblical area biblical times you know people were wealthy because they had cattle and goats and, 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 you know, stuff were successful at farming and this and that. Now it's like farmers who still make the world go round are like the poorest people on the planet, which I never understand. But anyway, um, but yeah, just, you know, things change. Humanity changes. We evolve, you know, and then, you know, yes, I believe in God and I believe that he created the world, but I also believe that he created evolution for, you know, things to evolve. It's just, it's not so much evolution, but adapting, you know, there's, an, there's another word for it. I can't remember it. I remember it from my biology class, but, you know, things change and people adapt and, but, um, I don't, I just don't like the way things are going really, you know? It's like, you know, my kids will have to get on the computer. Like, my kids can run around on a on an iPhone or maybe a tab, tab, a pad, and, you know, or be on, you know, some kind of app and just be able to just go through it or play a video game and just be all fast and know where everything is, right? But then you tell them to pull up a Word document, type something, and print it, they can't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I have to show them how to, you know, connect to the, to the, to the printer, make sure you select it and just troubleshoot, you know, they're having problems. I got to troubleshoot. I got to show them how to, all the kind of stuff that like I used to know and I had to show my parents, I'm now having to show my children and it's just like, what? So that to me, that's, that's odd, you know? Why is it, I don't know, it's like, you know, we had, and I remember in the States, some of my kids, they, in their classes, they would have pad, tablets, I keep saying, well, no, pads, right, you know, and it was just, I remember thinking, like, that's so weird, they don't, they have tablets now, and they don't have computers, they don't have the computer lab, you know, where you'd go and learn how to, you know, I remember using a Mac, like the the early Macs, the funky, small Macs, with the you know, like the first gen Mac, I remember having those in the library in school and stuff and, and, uh, just learning how to do all that kind of stuff. And now they don't, they don't, you know, and I guess that's the thing that's for my generation. It's like, I remember, I remember taking a typing class with a typewriter, but nobody uses typewriters anymore. I mean, some people do as, you know, just like some people like to, you know, use vinyl and stuff like that, but it's just 
things just kind of change, you know. I got a typewriter for Christmas one year from my grandpa. I wanted a Sega, and I got a typewriter. Like, what the? <laughs> I used it a little bit, but not, I don't know. Once, you know, I could do my homework in school, and you can delete and fix your mistakes instead of having correcting tape on a typewriter and try and line everything up and do it. Dude, it's such a pain in the butt. So, you know, once the computer, I, I didn't touch the typewriter anymore. I mean, it'd be kind of cool, you know, like I, no, no, not really, I guess. Because I, I write some stories, some little fiction stories. I have like, I don't know, a handful started. <laughs> and maybe if I had like a little typewriter, I could, but usually I just do it on the computer. It's just easier. I mean, I guess there's like a, <clears throat> you know, some people maybe as like a, just to kind of help the process, maybe use like a typewriter, you know, like when I pray, I light a candle, I do incense and stuff like that to kind of like, okay, it's pray time. So let's get to work. So, um, you know, if somebody has got to write something they're on their typewriter, like tells their brain, Hey, it's time to get to work. So they'll focus more. And that was something too. I learned in college, you know, when you're doing your homework is maybe find like a little place in a certain lamp. And the only time you use that lamp is when you're doing homework. So it's kind of like a, you know, a little, uh, I mean, it's literally a light switch, but also a light switch for your brain. But okay, homework time and you focus. Same thing, I guess, kind of. But yeah, I don't know. Like it's, like I said, the, the Tesla robots or whatever, it's, it's, um, it's, you know, it's, it's cool. It's, you know, it's impressed, you know, it's like, wow, that's pretty neat. It's crazy that they can do that, this and that. But the idea of everybody that has a Tesla car will soon have like a Tesla robot as well. That's going to do their chores for them. So then like, so now you're going to have people that are like content creators, YouTube, whatever. And now they can sit there and spend even more time on the computer doing their whatever because they got their robot to do dishes or still that seems crazy. I don't know how well it's going to be, but you know, just to pick up the house and go, Hey, there's, there's a delivery guy at the door. Uh, I'm trying to do this here in the robot. You know what I mean? Like, like what? It's just, you know, I never thought that the Jetsons would, I would see the Jetsons come to life, you know? I mean, not completely. Jetsons was in the sky. That was like the biggest thing. But as far as like the robot made, you know, you got the little robot vacuums. My dad had one. He named it Rosie or whatever. Is that the name? The robot in the Jetsons. But like, you know, the screen, so much of the Jetsons is now true, you know. You know, George would go to work and he had to push a button. No, oh, it's so hard. A lot of people... You know, they click a mouse when they're at work. It's the same kind of thing, you know. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it will get to a point to where we do have this wonderful, great, wonderful, magnificent um, utopia, you know, that where everybody is retired and on vacation because robots do everything. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. But I know it's going to be like, uh, what's that movie? Um, with the robot Chappie or something. And they have him helping him, you know, rob banks and stuff like that. And like, you're just going to see, you know, everything that you're watching on the news, protests and politicians and all this stuff is all going to be robots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody's just going to be chilling, just like Wally. -E, and we're going to be all fat, sitting in our recliners, and we're going to watch things play out, but it's going to be robots doing it. I don't know. It's just crazy. I mean, you know, I don't think it will because you just, you have so much, you have individuals like myself or people that are even like, oh, hell no. I'm not, you know, nothing to do with that, you know? Um, you got people that want to live out in the country that want to manually you know self sufficient living and and not have to rely on technology and stuff like that 
and I'm kind of like, I'm in the middle, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. I, I'm working on a garden. I want to have some stuff. I want to have the, the ability to survive without the world for, you know, a month or something if need be. But at the same time, I'm here recording a podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not, it's not hard. It's not a whole lot to it. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. It's just crazy. The world, it's just crazy how fast and how much the world has changed in the last, you know, 30 years. It's just, I don't know, it's just insane. We went from, you know, everybody calling the internet or whenever they were given their, you know, back in the day when you were given a website, you know, now you just say, oh, hey, go to, you know, go to Trump.com or go to Trump website or go to whatever, you know, CNN, whatever. Then it was like, okay, what you do is you go www.trump.com. So you, you know what I mean? Like you had to give the exact address. and But, you know, we went from that, from shitty internet, dial-up internet, you know, and chatting. I remember, I remember the first time chatting with somebody, you know. This was after sending some emails, but it's like, oh, man, now we're actually, we're talking, but we're typing, you know. And... And now look where we are. It's just it's just crazy. And that's, you know, that's yeah, 30 years. Less than 30 years. How much how fast and just how much has changed is kind of scary, you know? Like when's it going to stop? Maybe sooner than we think. Maybe these robots are it. Like what else can they do? I mean, the implants, I guess, that's scary right there, dude. I think I have a, your phone implanted into you and you can just be like in your head Siri call call the wife and then you just hear it ringing in your head and then you just be like hey what's up yeah okay blah 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 talking whatever like maybe it seems kind of cool and then you don't have to listen to people with on speakerphone and you don't have to hear people's phone ringing in the theater, I guess, <laughs> you know, but I don't know. It's just, what do they do? They track your phone. They, they know where everybody is with their cell phone. So you get those implants, dude. Freedom is done. Yeah. Maybe I guess, you know, people would say, okay, at first it may seem like it, but over time people, there'll be less crime because people can't get away with crime anymore because they're going to know where everybody is at every time. So it's going to it's going to slowly work itself out to where people do not commit crime. And I guess that's a possibility, but I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, that's all. Thanks for listening. Um appreciate your time. God bless and I'll see you next time. All right.